Guys, this year will be fun, believe me. So hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Before we start, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Anyway, we are in Imola for round 7 of this 2024 season. In practice, Ferrari was the faster. I also did a video about it, if you haven't seen it, maybe consider to have a look. Anyway, on qualifying, Yesterday, Ferrari was lower and McLaren and Verstappen much faster. Perez eliminated in Q2 by Daniel Ricciardo and Alonso in Q1 in P19. Also good racing bulls, both in Q3. Pull for Verstappen, thanks also to the slipstream of Nico Hülkenberg. Second Piastri turn now is fourth and fifth the Ferraris of Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz. The grid is a bit different due to Oscar Piastri penalty for impeding on Nico Hülkenberg. At the start of the Grand Prix, Lando started really well. Also Verstappen, Leclerc a bit slower, but maintained P3, almost attacking Norris for P2 in turn 1. We saw a strong McLaren in this track, also strong Verstappen, not really the Red Bull. Verstappen really make, made the difference, uh, but Ferrari with mediums it was faster uh, after 15 laps because of the degradation as well. But McLaren really did a good strategy, pitting earlier and gaining time with undercut, uh, in particular between uh, Piastri and Sainz that were battling before the pit stop. So when also the Ferrari pitted Sainz, that was ahead, like by 8 tenths of a second, ahead of Piastri was 4 seconds behind him, and also Leclerc was 4 seconds behind the other McLaren of London Norris. Charles, in the second stint, was faster in the first part of the second scene and gained a lot on Norris and so at the moment it was 8 tenths on him with the RS but he couldn't pass him and so and the Variante Grazini he did a mistake going wide and probably damaging a bit the floor. From that moment Norris gained so much time on Max and almost took the RS. Max won by only 7 tenths of a second ahead of Norris and Leclerc at 7th second managing his podium. 4th Piastri, 5th Sainz, in P6 Hamilton, P7 Russell, P8 Paris, P9 Stroll and P10 Yuki Tsunoda completing the top 10. In the back was a really boring Grand Prix with no really battles. Anyway, Ferrari upgrades seems to work. Obviously, this was a track that McLaren and Red Bull really enjoy and Ferrari suffer a bit. We will see if this really worked in the next two or three races. Looking forward to the next weekend, we will be in Monaco. Very difficult track that really tests the abilities of the drivers. Qualifying will be crucial, so I don't really expect a good Ferrari in qualifying, I really hope so, but Ferrari this year, you know, isn't the best car in qualifying. Anyway, for the layout, Ferrari is, uh, is fast, should be fast, and McLaren will suffer a bit, probably, but Red Bull is still the favorite one. Ending, my top three drivers of today were P3, Yuki Tsunoda, with one point for the Racing Bull, crucial, 15 points for him, this championship five only for Dino Ricciardo, destroying his teammates. In P2, Lando Norris, that almost won this race, but was hard then to pass Verstappen, probably, and in be one of these top drivers I put Max Verstappen because today, this weekend, really made the difference. Look at this teammate. Eliminated in Q1, uh, Q2, sorry. And then in race P8, him uh, with not the best car, probably. The best car was the McLaren, probably, this weekend. And he managed, he took the pull, okay, with a bit of luck. And then he defended the position and, uh, in the last laps was not easy, he almost took a penalty for truck limits, he did 3 truck limits uh, in the first like 25 laps and if you would make one more, you will you would get a 5 second time penalty, so wow, really this time Verstappen really made the difference. So for this video was all guys, thank you so much for watching, if you liked it, smash like button, subscribe to the channel for more content and as always, it's been a pleasure, cheers.